I think it's always good to keep a healthy level of skepticism when it comes to any major news or rumors or reports pertaining to the WWE or just professional wrestling as a whole. I mean, how much are you going to be a mark for the Carney Act and believe everything that they say or that they tell you? Like, this is a business that fundamentally comes down to lying to people, trying to present things as real even though they are not. It is all about tricking people, deceiving people, people acting like characters that they're not, in storylines that are sometimes unimaginably unrealistic, etc. So, whenever you see some of these reports that come out about behind-the-scenes shit, different wrestlers, heat, you know, politics, etc., like, how much should you really believe them? How much is it that you could potentially be getting work? Or how much is it that oh, the information you're getting is not complete, it's inconclusive, etc.? It's just something to think about. Now, as you can imagine, as these reports of Daniel Bryan's contract expiring with WWE came out, like you can imagine a lot of people had some feelings in some type of way about it. Frankly, I'm surprised Twitter and the internet survived. Have people calmed down that much? Because shit almighty, if this had happened six or seven damn years ago, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Right? We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. Y'all would be burning everything down. You'd be like, Daniel Bryan is the best wrestler of all time. I can't believe WWE would be so good. I can't believe he should be the world champion, universal, intergalactic, up your ass, intergender, by gender, every gender champion. Like, that's how much y'all stand for Daniel Bryan. You could have logical, legitimate conversations about many different wrestlers. Some that I like and many that I don't. But when it comes to Daniel Bryan, there is this certain disconnection from common sense and reality sometimes. And that's just the way it is. But I would assume that people are being at least a little hesitant or a little skeptical here and saying that, hey, maybe not everything is what it seems. I mean, Daniel Bryan's done with WWE. Come on now. That's probably probably bullshit, and you know it. Now, you might want it to be true. You might want him to go to New Japan. You might want him to go to AEW. You might want him to do anything and everything that is not WWE. And to be clear, for all you know, there might be a piece of Daniel Bryan that agrees. There might be a piece of Daniel Bryan that says, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to do this shit anymore. Not for this company. But, but let's, let's pretend for a second that this is even remotely true, which I would highly doubt that his contract has expired. Let's pretend for a moment that this is true. This is either some master class in working people because they're trying to set up for a bigger angle because the dude did just main event night two of WrestleMania just had another featured match with Roman Reigns where it was title versus career. Seems like an awful lot of investment to put into a guy that you don't resign. Do you get what I mean? Like what, if you want to say, well, that's a negotiating tactic. You could give him a WrestleMania match without giving him that WrestleMania match where you still had him job out anyways. You could sit there and do things without doing that level of things to be able to exercise and gain some type of leverage in the negotiations. Try and get the one up, if you will. But they mean invented this dude and put him into a program with Roman and Edge. Am I supposed to believe that Daniel Bryan actually doesn't have a contract or some type of deal with Vince McMahon in the WWE? I find that incredibly, incredibly hard to believe. I could be wrong. This comes back to the same shit of a decade ago with CM Punk. There were actually people that legitimately thought that the WWE was putting the title on CM Punk and he didn't have a contract. There are people to this day, a decade later, 
that think that that's anything close to true when it absolutely, totally, completely is not. That's 100% bullshit. People got worked. If you got worked then, why wouldn't you be getting worked now? I mean, tell me where that would make logical sense. We're not talking about Dixie Carter saying, hey, I am going to put my title on AJ Styles, and then, yeah, I actually won't have him signed to a contract. That's Dixie Carter. That ditzy dumb bitch. We're talking about Vince McMahon here, who loves control, who has signed wrestlers that he doesn't even really want to long-term big money contracts just so he can sit there and control them so they don't go anywhere else. He can afford to do it. He doesn't give a fuck. You really think at this point with the Bellas and the Total Bellas shit, and you really think with Daniel Bryan and kind of his slot and position, some of the merch that he can move, etc., the guy comes with his own kind of dedicated fan base, you really think Vince would be willing to let that go out the door and potentially go to somewhere else, especially at a time where the company is generating record profits, record revenues? That just makes absolutely no fucking sense. So if you think about this logically in any sort of way, it feels really stupid or foolish, frankly, to believe that Daniel Bryan actually doesn't already have a new contract with WWE. Like they were very quick to put a stipulation for a match out there that was title versus career. Very quick to move him to the alumni section. I mean, that sure smells like a pretty big work, doesn't it? Come on now. But let's... Humor some of you for a second who actually want to buy into this, want to believe in this, and say, well, this person reported it, so it's got to be true. <laughs> All right, let's humor you for a second. What you're telling me then is that Vince McMahon took one of the three men that was in the main event of WrestleMania, like the main event of the main event of the show, like Sasha Bianca did their, they did their thing, but that was night one. Like this is the last impression. This is the last chance to dance at romance in your pants. It's Edge, it's Roman, and it's Daniel Bryan. You're telling me one of the three guys that truly main event, main evented this fucking year's WrestleMania, Vince McMahon forced Daniel Bryan, shoehorned him into this match when he didn't have to. To put him in this main event spot that storyline-wise his character at this moment absolutely positively did not merit or deserve in any way, shape, or form. To then sit there and have him go out there and be part of a great main event of WrestleMania. To then sit there and not have him under fucking contract. Why would Vince put that much investment into somebody to not have some type of long-term certainty? If he actually did that, then that would be astoundingly stupid. That would be gross imbecility of the highest order. That would be yet another example of just how delusional and out there and out of touch and lost it Vince McMahon actually is. Because I'm sorry I find that incredibly hard to fucking believe at this point in time, in the position that Vince is in, and looking at a guy like Daniel Bryan, that he would allow that to happen. Would you? No, of course you wouldn't. So why would Vince? You could say, well, historically he's had people that main evented a WrestleMania and were gone soon after. Yeah, that's historically, and that's also years and years in the past, but you also have to look at the business and what it's become in the past decade plus, and you gotta look how Vince McMahon fucking operates. Hey, no way in hell Daniel Bryan is done with WWE. Could be taking a little time off. Could be transitioning to more of a part-time role. Could be showing up on Raw next week for all the hell you know. Or maybe they are going to do something with them. Maybe they'll work with an All Japan or New Japan or something. And they're going to leverage Daniel Bryan as a way to do that. Maybe they're going to work with, I think they're going to work with an MLW. So maybe they'll have him show up there. I would find it incredibly hard to believe that Daniel Bryan is going anywhere. Why would he? This company's been, that company's been good to him. They've paid him well. They've put him in plenty of main event spots, put world championships on him. Like, 
Why the fuck would he go anywhere at this point? He probably, frankly, has a career for life if he really wants it. Because you know deep down, even though the people at the top of that company don't really buy into him as a true A-plus player, they like him enough and they respect him enough that they would keep him around forever. So no, Daniel Bryan ain't going fucking anywhere. I find it very hard to believe that he doesn't have a contract. I really do. You want to choose to believe that? Fine. But what logical basis would you have for that? Unless you want to hold on to what I just talked about a moment ago, and that is Vince McMahon truly has completely lost it, and this is just not yet another thing that validates that for us. You have a guy main event WrestleMania, and you're going in there with your top guy in Roman Reigns, and you don't have him under contract, you don't have anything mapped out, you don't have anything figured out. Yeah, I call bullshit on all that. 